Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is up and welcome to a universe mode that is going to make history and this is why this universe mode is going to be the universe mode that I play with each and every one of you who choose Oh my goodness, I moved my chair. Who choose to want to play it with me. Now, this is going to be exclusively on Twitch after this first month. We will be playing Raw, Main Event, and Extreme Rules. Kind of like how I set up my current universe mode. This first month is going to be pure experimentation. Okay, so here we go. We are on Monday Night Raw, and these are mostly random things. Spoilers, I don't want to show anything yet. What I want to do first is explain what I'm doing. I'm trying to get into Twitch, and right now I don't have money. Right now I have no money, I'm trying to use my Xbox One. It's been a pain in the ass to set up. Um, and I just barely fixed the problem, it took me two hours to do it. But I fixed a problem that won't be a problem anymore. Now problem number two is buy a 100 foot ethernet cable so I don't have to deal with lag issues. Because that's the problem I'm running into now. And this is really, I mean, it's really nostalgic because it reminds me of when I, when my old YouTube videos. My old YouTube videos, I had the video stuff, but I didn't have a microphone. So I just put up whatever I wanted because I wanted to. I just wanted to get going. I was so anxious and excited. Um, and I ran into issues with uh, editing, with not editing things correctly, with having bad audio, with no audio most of the time. And then I improved. So now I'm trying to get into the Twitch game and I'm doing the same thing. This is going to be my maiden voyage of Twitch. I actually have my projection. Let me look at my projection here. I believe I've got it in here. Um, let's see, where did I put that? I've got it in this little thing somewhere. <laughs> I've got Grand Theft Auto notes. Okay, Twitch options. Here we go. So in the long term, in, uh, in October, I want to be set up. Five months. I'm giving myself about five and a half months for the debut of WWE 2K16 on Twitch. That's when I really want my Twitch career to boom right off the bat. Just knock it out and actually work on stuff. But for the short term, I'm going to be doing a couple of different things. It's a very exciting stuff, so if you're watching the video, you get a little sneak preview. Okay, so what I want to do first is I, I really just want to toy around and build a community. And that's what this universe mode is going to do. And that's what GM mode is going to do. You didn't hear me wrong. I hate GM mode. But, but, I am going to be playing GM mode on Twitch, live streaming it, possibly once a week, just like my universe mode, once a week. And we're going to try to do this two times a week. We're going to be streaming two times a week on Twitch within three months. Okay? In this first month, I'm toying around, I'm trying to build things, I'm trying to get past all the beginning problems. And I feel like I just need an Ethernet cable that reaches to my front room to plug in to my, uh, my, uh, 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 whatever, and that problem's fixed, and then we can, we can twitch, and that's the problem that we need to do, and then we start the universe mode, but, so what we're gonna do here is begin it with the fans that have built me up now, the 1600 some odd of you that are here right now, I don't believe there's 1600 of you, I think most of you are double profiles, uh, some of you are dead profiles, but whatever, N regardless, nonetheless, there are at least a hundred or so of you who watch my content consistently so i'm starting with you brand new universe mode totally community involved except for this first month so what's going to be going on here is i'm going to set this up and uh just keep in mind I'm, this is this is a universe mode unlike anything i've ever really done before mostly i stay in character for this it's going to be totally out of character it's going to be on twitch I, I'm planning on Tuesday nights, that way we can watch Raw, and then we can react, and then we can watch Pay-Per-View Raw react here on this Twitch while we're playing Universe Mode. We can correlate, we can have fun, um, I've got some fun ideas, I've got fun things planned, and I don't want to spoil them. Oh, it's spoiled. Shit. Oh well. Okay, so here's what we've got going, alright? Obviously, easy five-card match to start off, right? calendar will be raw main event extreme rules so raw main event pay-per-view basically how this is going to work is we're going to have monday night raw five matches to build up rivalries then we're going to have main event which is where you guys will get involved we will have one or two matches on main event okay so what's going to happen is we are going to um do the matches on raw 
and then on main event we're either going to keep one of the three matches, which usually they're pretty good, and you'll see within... This is going to be a long-ass video, by the way, because I want it to be as close to what I'm going to do on Twitch as possible. So what we're going to be doing on main event is either choose one of the uh, matches that they already have established, because they're pretty good about making great matches, and especially because every member of the roster is on Raw, especially the ones I've downloaded. Uh, so they'll probably be a pretty good match there. We'll play that one, and we'll play a viewer one that the Twitch people, the community, will want. Like, I'll put up, okay, that's a good idea. How about we do that? And then we'll do that. And I'll keep everybody's ideas in mind, and we'll have fun, and we'll just kind of blow off some steam with main event. And then we'll get back to Monday Night Raw, and so on and so forth. Now let's get to the meat. Let's get to the setup of this universe mode. Here's what I've done. We are on year... Let me, let me go to the statistics... We are actually on year, like, five, okay? Uh, and you can see that... You can see that here. Okay, so you can see that here. We're in year five. So Seth Rollins had Money in the Bank, then Triple H, then Lesnar, then Triple H, and now it's Triple H again. So this guy just wins Money in the Banks like crazy. We're just gonna disregard the Money in the Bank. We're gonna disregard the Royal Rumbles. Uh, we're gonna disregard all these silly... These stats hold, right? These stats are good. This is basically what I've done. I went from the first and I just deleted everything. I deleted most of the teams. I think I've kept the Usos because they're the champions. I've deleted all of their um, ties, their connections to people, and I'm trying. I'm building something brand new. So we're gonna pretend that everything in the WWE just stopped. We have the rights to Stone Cold, all the championships, all the Raws, all the arenas, all that, all everything. But all the storylines ended. No one is angry with each other. Everyone is just complacent. They're here. The great thing about this universe mode is that uh, I'm going to be allowing doubles. So if we get two Kevin Nashes or two Alberto Del Rios, two CM Punks, two whatever, I will allow them to feud over a title because this universe mode is just going to be fun like that. Um, luckily for you, this profile doesn't have most of those people unlocked. So you don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so here we go. Undertaker, I think, in the past five years was defeated by um, Ultimate Warrior, I think. Uh, but we're just going to pretend that he hasn't been defeated yet in uh, uh, uni well, it's a uni new, brand new universe mode, so it's going to be a brand new thing. Uh, here we go. So we're going to start out with the world champion being Stone Cold Steve Austin. And this was totally random. I didn't do this. All I did was change it from the one championship, the WWE Championship, to the WWE Undisputed. Just to keep the past champions clear on those statistics. Uh, ECW Championship. This is a championship that will be defended much like a TV championship. Kind of whenever I want. Mostly on pay-per-views. And every match will be an extreme match. So Rey Mysterio's got some work cut out for him because it's the Extreme Championship Wrestling Championship. He's going to have to hold it, and he's going to have to f defend it extremely. Uh, and then we have this tag team. Within the five years that I was doing this, there was one rivalry. It was Usos versus Mark Henry and Sheamus. It was a random one. And it put Mark Henry and Sheamus on a team. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect. And that was like within year one and two of simulation. And uh, it didn't do any other teams, so we need more tag teams. The first thing I need you to do is like this video. And if you're new, please subscribe to this video. Uh, the second thing I need you to do is, hey, give me some tag teams. Uh, things that I can do, obviously. Uh, you can look at the superstars I have here. You can press pause and you can look over them. I've just barely started this profile, so I just barely unlocked uh, um, Shawn Michaels. And I need to add him onto Raw now. Uh, so we could do that. We could actually do that right now. Add superstars. And we're going to add... Uh, we're not doing divas. We are not, unfortunately. Because um, I, I just don't like having only eight divas to work with. It gets stale really, really, really quick. And I just didn't like... And I'm doing that in my universe mode, and I've stuck through to it throughout the whole year, which is impeccable. It's amazing that I've been able to do it. And I do have plans to end it, so it, they will be there for the rest of the my universe mode on my other uh, profile. But I can't do it again. I can't keep making things up for divas. But we will have them as, like, managers, valets, things like that. I'm sure there'll be a storyline where they come in. 
Um, without further ado, this is the first card that I changed, of, and I did change some of these because, of course, rivalry matches are going to be a bit boring, aren't they? Um, but we're going to leave these ones in place because they're going to start out a new rivalry for us. They're going to start something exciting, something new, and it's. I think it's going to be really fun. I've, I put a lot of work into this, so I'm hoping it goes well. Um, I don't think there's much anything else I need to talk about regarding setup. Uh, the teams, of course, are only going to be the Usos, the Champions, and uh, the Mega Powers, which was a brilliant idea from Monday Night Raw, which, it was just so good, and I'll talk about that in a minute, I guess. Um, and then we'll probably add in championships, maybe more, maybe less, who knows, I mean, we only have three championships for a seven pay-per-view match card, so we're going to have to figure some things out. Alright, here we go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start out... And the main event is not going to be Cena Batista because that would be stupid. The main event's going to be Champion versus Champion, Stone Cold versus Rey Mysterio. So the match kicking off the show, Sheamus, Big Show, Tag Team Champions taking on the newly formed tag team of Damian Macho Mandau and Axel Mania. So this should be really good. I'm, I'm actually super excited. I put some work into uh, the Mega Powers. And then I edited some entrances, so I'm really excited to see if this works out. It should work perfectly. I put all the settings up today. Um, so if you're only on YouTube and you haven't been on Twitch yet, I advise you to go watch a Twitch guy right now. There's somebody on Twitch right now streaming some game, uh, preferably WWE. Go there and see what they're doing. That's going to be what this is like. What I'm doing right now is not normal behavior for... Uh, YouTube. It's very strange. So this is going to be pretty much what I've been saying. Twitch on YouTube. And he doesn't have his tag team championships. What's going on there? Or is it covered up by his jacket? Damn it! Is he not the champion? Something went wrong, of course it did. No worries. We'll fix it next week. Well, I guess... Like, next week in universe mode. Does he at least have it? Was it under his jacket? Okay, it might have been under his jacket. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I made a mistake. I'm stupid. Okay, no wonder Big Show... Oh. <laughs> we have to exit out. I've made a mistake. Big Show's not a tag team champion. I, keep, I mixed him up with Mark Henry. And that's really not racist, actually, because I mean, nothing with race is involved. They just are very, very, very similar. So here's my created Damien Macho Mandel. Uh, I can't really... I, I, like I said, I don't have money. I just came back from college. I'm trying to rebuild up my status. So that's the best I could do for Macho Mandel. I don't have any of the DLC. Hopefully I get that. Ethernet cable and DLC is what I'm looking for. So Ethernet cable's 15 bucks. DLC, I'm sure, is about 50 bucks. Knock it all out, and we'll and we'll we'll be good for WWE. Not bad, Mega Powers. I, I like it actually. They're both great tag team competitors, so I'm really looking ex forward to this. But we have to exit this real quick because um, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Big Show is not the tag team champion. <laughs> oh no. Hey, George Floorline. <sighs> you know, the more I listen to Wiz Khalifa, like, I like the song he has on this, but I really, really, really don't like any of his music. I've come to realize, especially live, like, I'd rather it be produced. It's just not good. It's just not good, is it? All right, let's change this real quick. I can't believe I screwed that up. No wonder they weren't coming out. Um, it's not Big Show, dummy. <laughs> People are yelling at me, I'm sure, in the comments. Well, you idiot, you just said who the tag team champions were. <laughs> and yes, I apologize. I'm dumb. Uh, I think we're good. I probably could have started it. But just in case, we'll let it save. We'll let it buffer. It didn't change anything. Oh, uh, I guess I should uh, tell you, the rivalries that I put out here are just totally random. Okay, so Batista, John Cena, Luke Harper, CM Punk, totally random rivalries. We're just going to let them go because 
we can worry about the tag, the, like the championships in the coming weeks. Here we go. This should work, right? See, that just doesn't look right to me. For some weird reason, I have Seamus and Big Show in my head. Must be because of a recent episode of my Universal. There we go. Yay. Beat him up, beat him up, break his neck, break his neck. <laughs> I love the violence of Mark Henry's theme song. Mark Henry and Sheamus, they are dominant tag team champions. At least I would imagine they would be. And here we go, here come the Mega Powers again, but we've already seen this, we don't need to see it again. Um, other things I need to work on with my Twitch is, uh, I need to buy a PC... I need to do a lot of things. Uh, most of these matches are going to be watched. We're going to watch most of these matches. Uh, and the final thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this on main event, is select a person to play as. It's going to be totally random, and whenever that person shows up, that's who we're playing as. Uh, so that's going to be a little fun. Hopefully it's somebody good. Uh, I did this two years ago on 2K14, and it came up with X-Pac, and that, it didn't last very long, because X-Pac is not a very good commodity. Uh, I'm, I'm acting as if I'm twitching right now, the, the, the live streaming, because, uh, I, I have to get used to it, so it's very strange. I've got a crown on my head, I've got a headset on, I can't eat or drink anything for the next possibly two, three hours. So we'll figure this out. <laughs> It'll be a different thing than YouTube. YouTube is like an hour. And that was it. Make sure my phone's not going off because I can't hear a damn thing. Just turn it down. I tried to do some uh, Twitch stuff earlier. And uh, some chick favorited my, uh, my, my tweet. My, the tweet that sent it out because... I, I don't know, I guess she's a bot or something. But I'm like, no, 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 don't bring them to my channel yet. It's not perfect. I've done something awesome, by the way, and I hope it happens as, when we watch this match. Because I like Curtis Axel and, and Damian Sandow's gimmicks of being the made at Mega Powers. I love that. Uh, but I've spruced it up a bit. I've got Curtis Axel being more perfect than perfect mixed with Hulkamania. So he's a version of the Hulk that's more perfect than the Hulk. Uh, uh, Hulk Hogan. So this should be really fun. Sheamus and Mark Henry are dominant tag team champions. The only other tag team in the known history of this WWE Universe mode. Ooh. So again, I need you. Oh, unbreakable submission hold. Oh dear. Sandow. Sandow. Sando, don't let him tap, Sando. Oh, he might tap. He's not going to tap. It's pretty early. Um, something I've been doing is I've been pretty much scouting what I want to do on Twitch. And let me grab his name off Twitter. Uh, something I also recommend you guys to do because it's a great community. It's really fun to go and, and it, he's got a whole thing set up. It's He's kind of my idol for Twitch, right? I mean, my idol for YouTube was Nova. And now I've got an idol for Twitch. Seamus, Celtic Cross. Oh my goodness. Referee couldn't get out of the way. Come on, Sandow. A macho Mandow. Oh, ref down. All hell's breaking loose. All right, let me get his name. Let me get his name, and I might even... Uh, I might, if, if I remember... Um, let me get his name. Let me get his name. Let me get his name. Uh, Urban... Okay, here's what I want you guys to do. Oh, another breakup. And again, another hitting of the ref. you got to be careful, Sandow. Um, what I want you to do is go to twitch.tv uh, slash gritty urban saga. www.twitch.tv forward slash gri T T Y U R B A N S A G A. Go there, uh, follow his channel, follow his Twitter. It's the same Twitter. Uh, do all these things because 
when he streams, that's what I want it to be like. I want it to be the same quality almost. So I want you to go there and I want you to be a part of that community because I'm a part of the community as well. He's got a betting system. He watches the matches like I do. He's a lot like me. One, two, three. Sheamus and Mark Henry victorious. They beat the Mega Powers. So go see him. Go, go watch one of his streams. He streams very, very often, mostly WWE. So uh, I've been watching a lot of him and, and I'm trying to get into that community. So please go there and please support that dude. Sheamus, Celtic Cross to uh, Curtis Axel. So we're not going to get to see the Mega Powers finishing moves that I implemented into this game. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. Bro kick. Bro kick. Sheamus Mark Henry. Wow. We need more tag teams. We need more tag teams. If the Mega Powers couldn't do it, who is going to stop Sheamus and Mark Henry? Also, if you have a nice, cool, nifty name for Sheamus and Mark Henry, go ahead and leave that in the comments below as well, because uh, that would be very helpful. All right, next match. I still do this, by the way. In my other universe mode, I usually edit out the in-between the matches, but I still get excited, still rub my hands together, and I create this energy. It's so weird, but I do it every time. I'm so pumped. CM Punk versus Luke Harper. This is like a, 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 a dream match of mine. Luke Harper's so good, and CM Punk is so good. Was so good, I guess. And I'm sure this match already happened once before. But, like, now, whereas Luke Harper is more defined, he's not just part of the Wyatt family. He can do a lot of his own stuff. We need to update CM Punk. Plain Grey is dumb. We need to fix CM Punk. Uh, basically, what's going to be happening here is I will not do a promo, okay, on this whole first session. Okay, if this whole first session gets to... Uh, I want to say 300 views and 20 likes next session. If I do it on YouTube, I will do a promo. And then if I'm up on Twitch, I will do it for every 10 followers. I'll do a promo. So that's going to be how that works. Luke up. Luke Harper, Eric Rowan getting back together on WWE TV is awesome. Uh, it's it's kind of dumb because they just kind of did it on SmackDown. But it was just kind of out of nowhere. I didn't watch SmackDown. I usually don't. All right, this falls count anywhere. Should we play it? Uh, we'll let them do it this time. We'll let, we'll let this whole first card just play itself out. And then we'll start playing uh, when we go to main event. Um, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper getting back together for the Tag Team Elimination Chamber, I'm sure. That's going to be awesome. Let's, let's just run down the teams. Wyatt Family. Not Wyatt Family. I, I should say Luke Harper, Eric Rowan. All right, so creepy people. New Day. Cesaro and Kid. Uh, uh, Usos, I'm sure. Oh, no, Usos are out, I think. Actually, I think one of the Usos is injured, so he won't be in it. Uh, I would imagine J&J Security would be really, really fun. I'd love to see them in that match. I'm sure Old School DX will be back. Let's see, one more tag team. Uh, Mega Powers. Mega Powers. There we go. And Ascension. Okay, so knock out J&J for Ascension. And there you go. There's your six teams. So let's run it back over. We've got Creepy People, Mega Powers, Cesaro, and uh, Kid, New Day, Ascension. Uh, I forgot one. Probably Los Matadores or Lucha Dragons. We have quite a bit of tag teams actually in the WWE. Hmm. Anyway, a lot of those people. Th that's going to be a quality match. I'm excited for that Elimination Chamber. So hopefully nothing goes wrong with this. Uh, this recording because I am going to do this whole first month of shows. So we shall see. It takes me usually to, to record five matches on Raw. With me playing and trying to win, it usually takes me 40 minutes. So we're doing that four times plus a pay-per-view. 
40 times 5 is 200 plus a pay-per-view will say 300 plus the main events 300 divided by 60 is about three hours right is my math correct there my quick math I think that's about right. I think it's going to be about a three-hour video, not including the setup and possibly more of those main events, because I'll be playing those. Oh, baseball bet. First thing to enter into the mix here. CM Punk. Luke Harper. Whenever I say Luke Harper, I have to do that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll lose it when I actually do a Bray Wyatt promo. Ooh, elbow. Punk tosses him over. Knocks him down. CM Punk going to start his uh, UFC career sometime this year. Ooh, high flyer. I'm super excited. I'm really, really pumped up for that. I cannot wait. I'm into UFC now as of January of this year. And uh, it's exciting. It's exciting. Conor McGregor for the win. Uh, Beck Rollins from this previous... Uh, fight night. I didn't get to watch that fight because I don't have fight pass, but I loved it. One, two, no. Here's the second thing I need you to do in this video. Go ahead and send me any question you might ask, If you're, especially if you're new. If you're new and you want to ask me a question, anything wrestling related, I'm like a guru of wrestling. I know everything. I don't want to gloat, but I do. I do know everything. I really should have done this after. Um, <laughs> after I uh, ate something. Oh, steel steps. Nice. Really? Oh, that would have been horrible. What a horrible end to a match. False count anywhere. So basically the main event is a fatal four-way between Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Kane, and John Cena. I think so. Um, it's going to be a number one contender. No, it's not John Cena. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I know it. I know it. It's in my head. It's in my head. Oh. Kofi? No. Ryback. Maybe. It's between somebody, but it's going to be for the uh, ECW championship. Oh, Punk. Going for that GTS. Hits it. It's over. Ref count. One. Two. Three. Go to sleep. CM Punk wins. Can't see that. That was unimpactful. That was stupid. <laughs> For a false count anywhere match, it wasn't that good. GTS on the outside puts Luke Harper to sleep. The Sandman cometh. And CM Punk is victorious. Well, there's a baseball bat. It's glitching. Oh, dear. Oh, my. <laughs> so CM Punk wins in that opening matchup. I don't even know what this rivalry's for. We'll have to figure that out storyline-wise as the weeks go on. That's kind of how things work here. John Cena versus Batista. Throwback to 2010, no? This was really good. Uh, Batista was Crybaby Batista, and uh, even when he was Evolution Batista, and he was Crybaby Batista there too, it was really good. I loved it. Obviously, John Cena, the face. Da 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 da. da. John Cena's ready to go. But so is this man, the animal Batista. I really liked the uh, the old version of this, where it was more of a singular guitar rather than a generic guitar. The animal is back. Batista. He did a great job in Guardians of the Galaxy. I finally got around to seeing that movie. Excellent movie. 
Cena, Batiste. I think it's just a normal match, one on one. A handshake and a show of respect between these oh shit! Before they square off. What is this? I've never seen that before. Is this a secret? Is this a secret? Um. Who will ever forget oh, what a spear to start off! Oh my goodness! One, two. Wow, is this a secret rivalry? It might be. Blue Tista, we need to definitely get his blue trunks in here. As I said, every time I record one of these sessions, it, and every one of them is going to be in a block, raw to a pay per view, four raws and four main events in a pay per view. That's a video, so watch it at your own pace. Wow, he had it right off the bat. He had a signature and a finisher right off the bat, and he is crushing Cena. That's damage right there. Damage immediately. Belly to belly is going to make it worse. Oh my goodness. The animal is back. And look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. The crowd is like just standing on their feet like what's just happened. Cena's getting mugged. Oh, here comes Cena. He's got to get the comeback. Oh, maybe it is a no DQ. Oh, maybe not. He's just going for the announce table. Go on, Batista. Get out there. But powerbomb his ass. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's going to happen. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, big back body drop. Get him up, Batista. Oh, he might not have a finisher. Yeah, he's just going to toss him back into the ring. Don't go to the top. Can he even go to the top? That's a good question. Cena reverses, tosses him into the corner. He doesn't bounce back off. Ooh, suplex. Oh my goodness, is it all... What? He was going for the five-knuckle shuffle dodge by Batista. Batista, DDT to... Oh, sorry, John Cena, DDT to Batista. Batista gets out of the way again. Wow, what a match. What happened? Did they give them like three finishers each to start this match off? Oh, Batiste. Nope, not Batista Bomb. He's going for suplex. Maybe the pinning one? No. Just normal suplex. Oh my. Oh, Spine Buster. A beautifully done Spine Buster at that. Is it enough? One, two. Kick out at two. If this was John Cena's United States Open Challenge, he would be losing the United States Championship because Batista, Batista bomb, it's over. I'm calling it. Ref, count to ten. It's over. Oh my God! He kicked out. Op Batista, or I mean Op Cena. Op Cena. Wow. A spear, the unbreakable submission hold, a spine buster, and a Batista bomb is not enough to put John Cena away. Here comes Cena. Shoulder block. Another shoulder block. Dropping Batista down. Going for the five knuckle shuffle. And the crowd, some of them are booing, some of them are cheering. Batista's in a bad spot. You can't see me. Boom. Going for the pin. One, two. Kick out at two, thank goodness. Come on, Batista. Did he just reverse the attitude adjustment? I think he did. Oh, discus elbow. Not discus, sorry, just an elbow. I got excited. Oh, boo. Yay. <laughs> John Cena, elbow to the face. Really a forearm. Oh, bad, bad attack there. Now, oh, he might tap out. Is John Cena going to give up on Monday Night Raw? What a waste. What a waste. And he taps. He tapped. John Cena gives up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, Cena. Look at that. That's what did the damage. That and the spear started it off. 
And here we go. Oh, it just skipped right to the end. It just skipped right to the end. Wow. A show of appreciation before the match, and Batista beat him via submission after John Cena taps out. That's impressive and scary. Wow. The animal. So nothing really spectacular happening in those matches. Don't worry, that's why I booked this. Barrett, that's right, Wade Barrett. He is kind of the odd man out, isn't he, in this little group? Because of what's happening on Raw. King Barrett, though, hey? King Barrett. At least it wasn't King Sheamus again. Thank goodness for that. So we do have the other Kane unlocked. Will he make an appearance? Who knows? The following fatal four -way contest is an extreme, extreme Rules fatal four-way match. Really, a fatal four-way is Extreme Rules anyway. But, uh, you know... Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, while they still have the same music and same entrance, they are not a part of the same entity. Remember, I wiped away all of their affiliations with each other. They are not with each other. Bad news, Barrett making his way out to the ring. Boom! And Roman Reigns. Look at that. The crowd lit up. The crowd lit up. They love seeing Roman. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Who's winning? Who is winning? Um, I'm going to go with, uh, just because I like it, Dean Ambrose. I want to see Dean Ambrose be the next WWE champion. Oh, DDT and a backbreaker right off the bat. Roman Reigns and Wade Barrett down. Will we see a reconnection of the Shield in this universe mode? I don't know. I like leaving a lot of things up to universe mode, but uh, most things will be community uh, driven. You will be helping me think these things up. Final cut by Dean Ambrose, not even as a finishing move. He's attacking Roman Reigns. Good example of no affiliations. These guys are friends, but they'll not hesitate to take each other out. Dean Ambrose, of course, going to be the first one to take things to the extreme. He's got a sledgehammer and he's tossed it in. Oh my, watch out, watch out. Oh. Busting that hip. Oh, how'd that hit Barrett? <laughs> it, it hit Barrett. He flinched. Now we got Roman Reigns versus Kane again. How good is Kane, by the way? I love Kane in these past couple of weeks. Dean Ambrose gets caught up. Jawbreaker. Kane under the ring. He's going... He just went under the ring and he got nothing. Literally like six options and he chose nothing. Oh, Spinebuster to Roman Reigns. He's not going to get anything again, is he? He's not. What is his, what's his deal? It's like Kane wants to be extreme, but he just can't finish the job. Here comes Ambrose. Kane's going to try again. Ambrose going to stop him. <laughs> three for three, he has been unsuccessful. Ambrose just going ham right now on Kane. 
Oh, Kane gets dropped. Bad news, taking it to Roman on the inside. One thing I have noticed about their dangly bits, and by that I mean their hair and or things hanging off of their outfits. Oh, we got a cover. One, two. Um, it's like they've set the plane level, so they've sent a gravity. And the gravity is set right at the tip top of that raw right there. You see that white line on top of raw? That's where the gravity is set. So Kane's hair is constantly going to try to get to that white bit. So whenever they do a move to the outside, their hair floats. <laughs> and like the Usos, their little tassel floats. Oh! Oh man, we're looking for the uh, bull hammer. Bull hammer elbow. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose was going. He's going to steal it. Oh no, he's not. Okay. I thought he was going to steal the win. Dean Ambrose is going for dirty deeds on an already bull hammered Roman Reigns. <gasps> one, two, three. Oh, Dean Ambrose, number one contender for Rey Mysterio's championship. That's exciting. I like that. I really, really like that. I mean, look at this. Look at the damage that he did. Bull hammer. And then after the bull hammer, dirty deeds. Definitely enough to put Roman Reigns away. Yeah, and you know, the ECW championship would look awesome around the waist of Dean Ambrose. I'm definitely cheering for him. You guys know how much. Maybe you guys know how much I hate Rey Mysterio. All right. Match of the night. Rey Mysterio. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Champion versus champion. I'm going to get some fun dip. I'm going to get some fun dip. Well, you probably don't know what I just did. I just like inhaled like three spoonfuls of fun dip. Undisputed champ making his way to the ring. Said I wouldn't do a promo, but I might. No, I've got to. I've got to stick to my guns, even though I really, really want to. See, I can practice the voice though. Hmm. How would I do? How did I do Stone Cold? Hey, Holmes. Like, I know how to do Ray. Ray's pretty easy. Uh, Stone Cold is a uh, rough, 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 rough. Well, damn, son. No, see, I can't do Stone Cold. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the promo. <sighs> Wasn't he an ECW champion? I feel like he was. For a bit. Dean Ambrose is his new number one contender. Let's see how he fares against the undisputed champ. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Rey Mysterio. Ew, gross. What if we select, right? We select a character to play as, and it's Rey Mysterio. How gross would that be? That would be disgusting. I would not want to play as Rey Mysterio for the whole... Oh, you know, I better change the conditions just in case. I'll say until SummerSlam. And then we'll reselect. <laughs> because I just can't bear to play someone like Rey Mysterio all universe mode long. It would drive me nuts. Oh, and Seguri. Undisputed champ. He's got to get back into it, and there it is. Spinebuster to Ray. Working on the midsection. Smart move. Smart move.
I hate these matches because frequently Ooh, I am dropped on his face. But then again, sometimes you get caught in the crossfire, Michael. And who doesn't like Whatever happened to Rey Mysterio? Couldn't stay injured or he couldn't stay um within policy guidelines, the drug policy guidelines. Just kind of phased away. Rumor has it Stone Cold is supposedly set to be a part of WrestleMania uh, next year. So don't read too much into it because uh, you never really know, you know. But uh, that could be exciting. That could be really fun. Oh, Rey Mysterio's got him. Not ready for the 619. Knee to the chest. Spine buster. We're going to have to figure something out with these rivalries. Uh, this is actually isn't a rivalry. It's champion versus champion main event. But uh, the rivalries are Batista Cena, and I don't think we actually have to worry about that one, to be honest, because it did something I've never seen before. So I'm going to let that one go. But Luke Harper and CM Punk can definitely be fused with something. Oh, off the ropes. Who's the number one contender for the Undisputed Championship? That's something we should probably consider. Another spine buster from Stone Cold. Stone Cold's got him on the ropes. That's why he's got his comeback. Rey Mysterio turns him around. Comeback incoming. Yes. Senton off the ropes. Dodges under. Cross body. Bulldog. Rey Mysterio pumped up. He's going to go for the pin though first, surely. No, he's not. He goes for his signature move. There it is. There's the pin. A little late. One, two. Oh. That would have been trouble had uh, my mid-card champion uh, beaten my WWE champion, pretty much. Oh, 619 connecting. He's going to go for the pin. There it is. One, two. Oh, no. Rey Mysterio with a win over Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wow. Wow. This guy's bad. He's bad news. Rey. Rey Mysterio's bad news. What a horrible end to Monday Night Raw. I actually did not like that end. I really don't like Rey Mysterio. <laughs> uh, and it's, that's really kind of proof that this is all random. I didn't set any of this up because I hate Rey Mysterio. I really do. I really want to see him injured out for quite some time in my universe mode. I, I would be very happy with that. Alright, so that does Monday Night Raw. What's going to be happening here is the selection process of main event. And then I'm going to take a break. I'm going to hurry and eat something, and then I'll be back. It'll be very instantaneous for you. So you'll not have to worry. All right, let's look at WWE.com. Tense rivalry between CM Punk and Luke Harper. Okay. Let's look at main event. Let's see what they got. Orton versus Undertaker. Or triple threat. Eh, Eric Rowan really ruins it, doesn't he? So we'll just... Uh, uh, Simulate that. Daniel Bryan wins. Good on him. This is going to give a chance for some of the non-booked wrestlers to get some momentum. And, um, bad news. Barrett loses to Darren Young. Sweet. Okay, so what we're going to do here real quick is pretend to switch this up. Alright, here we go. Are we ready? I'm going to totally randomize this. Whatever comes up, comes up. Um, shoot, here we go. Oh, God. We're doing it again. Oh, God. It's got to be some Brock Lesnar. Okay, we're going to be Brock Lesnar. That That's fair. I'm not going to be Justin Damn Gabriel. God damn it. Nuh uh. No way. So here we go Undertaker versus Randy Orton. This is a main event match. So we're going to change the momentum to slow and we're going to start this matchup. 
We'll finish this, and then I'll take a break, and then we'll finish out the rest of the session. And because I really want you guys, my my YouTuber, uh, the subscribers, to understand how in depth this Twitch is going to be. It's going to be me sitting here and streaming for hours on end. Undertaker, of course. Current world champion on my universe mode, if you want to go check that out. Feel free. He's a dominant champ. Many people have tried to take it from him. He has repelled every challenger. Doing rather well. And Randy Orton. We should talk about him in real life. Oh, Jericho. Oh. Oh. Jericho takes out Orton. And all of a sudden, this is an easy match for the dead man. Chris Jericho has just whooped Orton. Really, I should be taking notes with this. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a notebook. Because whenever something in universe mode happens, I kind of want to be there to document it. Uh, can't use you. Can't use you. 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 Can you. Need a notebook. A handy dandy notebook. Green. Green square. Beautiful. Oh, and it's a thick one. Perfect. Beautiful. I think it's blank. It's blank. Wonderful. Alright, so what we need to do, and this is going to be like my little checklist of what I need to do offline. Uh, how I need to book some matches. If I could find my damn pen, that'd be awesome. Where did I throw it? Yeah, I'm not, even, <laughs> not even getting it. I've lost my pens. This is like the fourth time. How is this happening? Alright, well, oh, I know where it is. I know exactly where it is. There it is. I've missed it. What happened? What happened? Okay, I don't think anything happened there. So we got, um, Jericho. Did he just hit RKO? I think he just hit the RKO. I missed it because I was writing versus Orton as a possible match for uh, Extreme Rules because they just feuded and we need more than just the championships and rivalries because we need to fill this, some spots up here. See, I don't even remember what I said I needed to do from earlier. Uh, like in, in on Raw, I said, oh, we, we should do that. We should fix this. We should do that. Um... Reminder, if you're jumping through the video and you didn't watch the first, like, 20 minutes, I need tag teams, please. Please think up some cool tag teams and not ones that already exist. I was kind of upset when you guys suggested Cesaro and uh, Justin Gabriel, or a kid and Justin Gabriel and call him some international airstrike. I, I didn't think that that was a real tag team, but you guys, you guys fooled me. I, I don't want tag teams that are made up already. Okay? I want original stuff. Like uh, Orton and Stone Cold, the Vipers, uh, the, the Snakes, you know, Reptilian Alliance, something something like that. You know, Undertaker with the family. Uh, Eric Rowan, Luke Harper. Ooh, is Undertaker about to uh, do a comeback there? Maybe we could do a triple threat between these guys. Be an interesting triple threat match. Randy Orton's been so cool, but I bet he's the one who gets pinned at payback. I bet uh, Dean Ambrose hits him with dirty deeds. Seth Rollins tosses Ambrose into Reigns and out of the ring and then steals the win. And I bet he defends it again in the Elimination Chamber and something similar happens where he escapes. J and J come in and beat up the other challengers or something. Ooh, Undertaker going extreme here. Ruining 
Michael Cole's water bottle. See, you set it up and then you don't use it. What is that about, Undertaker? Ooh. Dodged out of the way. Luthez. This version of Undertaker looks like uh, the Ascension. That big guy, what's his name? I've totally forgotten. Choke slam incoming. Choke slam. Connecting. He's got it. One. Two. Oh. Kick out at two and a half. The Viper stays in it. That's why we're watching this on main event. This would be a great match. Actually, I think this was a... Uh, was it Unforgiven? Or Armageddon that these guys had a match. Oh, big back body dropped. That's not enough. In fact, that's a rope break, ref. That was a rope break and a half. Come on, Orton. Get up. Orton's woozy. Orton's woozy. He's stuck in the corner. Snake eyes. Oh. Off the ropes. Bringing it back. Oh, roll up. Randy Orton. One. Two. Oh. Nearly defeating the dead man. Randy Orton back. Suplex. Going for the pin. One. Two. Ref, I feel like, was a little slow to the count there. Oh, Undertaker. Tombstone. Too close to the ropes. Is it enough? Is it going to happen? Ref. Yeah, he was on the ropes, ref. He was on the ropes. Undertaker's not playing around. It's one of Undertaker's biggest flaws is that he can never figure out the rope breaks. There's a clothesline from Orton gaining momentum. Oh, Orton now. Stomping away at any appendage he sees of the dead man. Finishes off with a stomp across the face. He, that's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. You got him with the RKO. You got him with the or, or the or the uh, the punt kick. RKO. <gasps> it's coming. It's coming. RKO to the dead man. And Randy Orton. He's got to. He's got to get. He's got to get his hand over. He's got to get his hand over the Undertaker. Get him. Get him. One. Two. Oh, two and a half. You got to know that Jericho has influenced this. Otherwise, I'm sure Orton would have won right there. DDT. Randy Orton's wondering what does he have to do to put the dead man away. Belly to belly. Taker, come on, man. That's not going to put Randy Orton. Yeah, that's a cheeky pin. Undertaker, Irish whip, Orton into the corner, too hard, he bounces right off. Big opening here for Taker. Taker, what's he going for? Doesn't matter, reverse. Orton's got the back. Orton's bringing him back. Orton back, suplex. Pin him. Not going to pin him. See, that's the difference. And Grandy Orton's smarter. Throw him to the corner. I don't think that's enough. Yeah, that's a rope break, actually. He's too big. Too big to fail, Orton. Too big to fail. Orton, back, suplex. Going for the pin. One, two. You know, on hindsight, I'm actually going to release these in one-hour episodes. So a whole week will be an episode, and then a pay-per-view will be an episode. Uh, and So we'll have at least five episodes of this series so far. Because I don't want uploading time to take forever. 
And I also uh, would rather keep some things separate from others. But they'll all be a part of the same session. So I'll go session one, or, or I'll go uh, extreme rules build up, part one, part two, part three, part four, extreme rules. Something like that. Something to that effect. Oh, Undertaker with that clothesline. I haven't seen him pull that out in years. Oh, he's going for the last ride. This is really how he ends most of his matches, I've found. Dropping Orton. Going for the pin. It's got to be enough. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. It's over. Why would you kick out of that? You must be insane, Orton. He must be crazy. Wow. One, two. Unbelievable. Hey, look at that. He got him up on the way up and down. Dodge out of the way. Orton's still surviving in this match. Look at that. There's a Warrior fan in the crowd. Must have been excited for that Daniel Bryan Warrior and uh, Eric Rowan match. Out of nowhere. Suplex incoming. Oh! Ooh, Orton going for that knee. Oh, there it is. Go for the punt kick. That's how you have to end it, Orton. You have to kick Undertaker's head square off his shoulders. That's how it's got to be done. Oh, I think he just went for something there. Undertaker just reversed it. There it is. Choke slam. Connecting. That's got to be it. Going for the win. One, two. Oh, no. Wow. That is impressive. Randy Orton showing resiliency. Orton comes back. Weird noises. There's the cover. Can he do it? They above me? Do live in an apartment complex now, so I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Gotta be above me. Randy Orton's still battling Undertaker here on main event. There was my crown. It's gone. DDT from The Undertaker. I mean, Orton's got to give up eventually. He just dodged... I think he just dodged out of the... Uh, I think he just dodged out of the tombstone. There you go. There you go, Taker. There you go. He's got it. He's got it. Undertake. No. No. Reversed. Randy Orton. Tombstone to the Undertaker. It's over. One. Oh, and he kicked out after one. Orton is hunting for the RKO. Connecting. Undertaker's done. He just got hit with a tombstone and an RKO, and he's busted open. One, two, three. What a great match. That's what I want for main event. Great matches. Oh, who, who were we? We were um, Brock Lesnar. So whenever we see Brock Lesnar, that's who we have to play as. Look at that. This is where it turned around. Tombstone. RKO. Undertaker busted open. You see the blood starting to pour out of the forehead. Look at that. Randy Orton has bloodied and beaten the Undertaker. And Randy Orton. It's Triple H. It's Triple H. 
Triple H. Oh, and here comes Orton. Here comes Orton taking out Triple H. Thrown out of the ring. Wow, so you know what? We might actually have Orton and Undertaker. Versus Triple H and Jericho at some point. That's a money match. That's a money match. All right, well, we're winding it down here, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do in this closing down section of this video is um, book the next show. Uh, so let's go there. Let's see if there's any news. No news. Uh, let's see what Rob put. So we've got a cool tag team there, but that's kind of stupid. So we'll change that. There's another tag team, also stupid. Um... I like Big E and Darren Young, though. I mean, they're fine, but uh, Jey Uso and then the other Uso. So we got, uh, and then we have these matches again. Uh, okay, so immediately I know what I want to do. I'm going to keep Cena and Batista alone because they're doing something weird that I've not seen before. Um, Punk and Harper are going to... Let's see, who is the number one contender for the uh, Undisputed Championship? CM Punk, really? How about we go Seth Rollins? So, let's do that. We'll go with Seth Rollins as the number one contender to the WWE Championship. Uh, we will edit this. We'll customize. We'll do a tag team. And we will put uh, Seth. So we'll put Dean Ambrose. Wow, this actually will work out really well. Dean Ambrose. And Seth Rollins versus uh, Rey Mysterio and uh, the Undisputed Champion Stone Cold Steve Austin as main event of Monday Night Raw. I like it. I like it. So they're going to have to get along even though they fought last week. Uh, this will be the opening match of the night. And then we'll go here. These two have to be changed. And we had some issues on main event, so I don't want to tag team, but we will have Jericho versus Orton as one of these matches. So let's customize one on one. We'll do Chris Jericho versus Randy Orton. There, there. I like it. Um, we can't have any more tag teams because we have two tag team matches on the card. Uh, what I would like, however, is... I don't even really know how to book this, actually. Uh, so let's put Sheamus and Big Show versus The Usos. And it's not Sheamus versus Big Show. That's what I've done wrong. I've screwed up the whole rivalry. That is what I've done wrong. Yuck, we're gonna have to delete it. And we'll see if it'll work. I don't think it'll work, but we'll choose the rivals anyway. Um, the rivals were Seamus, Mark Henry, versus um, uh, Mega Powers up here. They are up here. Damien Sandow, Axel Mania. Right, so that's not even going to begin yet. So, I guess we can build to it. Match number one, they have them actually going up against each other. I'm sure it changed. Oh, no, and it didn't change match number two. Okay, Tyson versus R-Truth. Hmm, we have Brock Lesnar, but I don't really want to get him involved. Uh, we've got the number one contenders there, so that'll be a match. That'll be a match. There's two. That'll be a match. That's three. Four. Five. Six. We need one more match, so let's randomly pick a couple of superstars to have a match. Um, we didn't have anything spectacular last week. We had Kane, Roman Reigns, um... And Bad News Barrett lose. 
So we'll think of something, but but let's see. Let's let's just get some randoms here. Can't be Stone Cold. Can't be Titus. Let's do Roman Reigns. I don't want to do versus Kane. Um, bad news. Can't be Harper. Oh, we have Punk versus Harper, don't we? That's the one we changed. Uh, we have to do Punk versus Harper in some capacity. So let's do this. Let's do with Punk versus Luke Harper. I like it. So that satisfies all the rivalries, I think. Satisfies Harper, Punk. It satisfies Batista, uh, Cena. And that's our seventh match. So let's actually write these down. We've got Jericho Orton, Triple H Undertaker. That could be one of two matches. So I'm right now one or two. We have Cena versus Batista. That's one. We've got uh, Stone Cold versus um, Seth. That's one. Dean versus Ray. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's call it five. Um, we will give at Extreme Rules. We will do a uh, number one contenders match. So we will have Usos versus uh, Mega Powers. And um, that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Punk and Harper. So here's what we'll do we'll keep it right now as the card for Extreme Rules. Punk vs. Harper is 1. Usos vs. Mega Powers 2. Dean vs. Ray 3. Stone Cold vs. Seth Rollins 4. Cena vs. Batista 5. Jericho, Triple H, Orton, Undertaker 6. And we'll keep it open because if something else pops up in the next month, we will have room for a match. And that would be exciting. So I think that's fulfilled everything that has happened this week. A lot of, a really main event was more interesting than Raw, to be honest. Well, that's uh, that's interesting. So that's going to be a little bit of a, a preview. We will have part two up. Almost, it'll be up immediately. All of these videos will release at the same time, hopefully within the next week. Hopefully by Thursday, I'll have them up. Uh, universe mode, I'm backlogged right now. So those will be going up hopefully every other weekday consistently for the next couple of weeks. And uh, hopefully by the time we get around to Extreme Rules, um, my Ethernet cable will be here, and my internet will be good, and we'll be able to stream it, and you guys will know about it. So we'll find that out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I want to thank you for being a part of this video. If you watch it all the way through, thank goodness for you. I love you. You're awesome. Now please help me out by liking the video, sharing it, um, if you're in Twitch, recommend me. Also, uh, I probably don't do it on uh, somebody else's channel. So what we needed to do was we needed tag teams. We need more tag teams for this universe mode. Go ahead and shout them out. That would be cool. That'd be great. Um, we also need to go and watch some Twitch. You guys need to also do this because it'll help you guys understand what I'm trying to do. So please go watch a uh, urban, a Gritty Urban Saga Twitch. Uh, he has a YouTube channel as well if you want to see that. Let me go back to it. Er, oh, whoops, no, I don't want to tweet it. Herb. <laughs> Gritty Urban Saga. Okay, so yeah, he has a Twitter, he's got a YouTube, he's got a Twitch, all under the same name. He's very easy to find. He's really one of my fa He's He probably is my favorite WWE streamer. Uh, so please go check him out on Twitch. 
And uh, like the video, favorite, subscribe. I want to do a personal shout out on this video at the end here to my man on Twitter who favorites every universe mode for at least the past 20 episodes. His name is John Starman. John Starman on Twitter. Thank you so much for being very loyal, tweeting out my universe mode to Twitter. You're awesome. Thank you for the support. Thank all of you for watching the video. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for the tag teams. Thank uh, Triple H, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Undertaker for making this a really cool episode. Thank everybody else. Uh, I, you gotta thank God uh, <laughs> when you're doing a thank, a thank you speech. And uh, that being said, Derek D. Ginger King, checking out. We'll be back for part two, week two, leading up to Extreme Rules.